This is the horror. We're about to embark on a journey through the realms of horror, science fiction, and fantasy films that will leave you with fresh insights into your favorite movies. Join us as we delve into these cinematic worlds, hit that subscribe button and share our episodes with your fellow movie enthusiasts. This is the horror. David Cronenberg's Crimes of the Future. There are actually two David Cronenberg Crimes of the Future. It was one made back in 69, uh, 70, when he was a student, or just out of college. Um, and there's the one that came out this year with Viggo Mortensen, uh, Kristen Stewart, and Leah Sadu. Um, <clears throat> First of all, Kristen Stewart, I'm sure we all know if I'm saying her name correctly, it's the Twilight movies. Um, Leia Sadu is the uh, the girl, the Bond, the big Bond girl from the last two Bond movies, Spectre and uh, Time to Die. And Viggo Mortensen is, of course, Viggo Mortensen, but I mean, he is uh, best known for Lord of the Rings. So. Uh, David Cronenberg, if you know who he is, he's fantastic. He's done many things that people love, and he's done many things that uh, confuse people, provoke people, upset people. And he hasn't made a film in eight years. Crimes of the Future is something that is actually written 20 years ago. And, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not the easiest writer director to to deal with if you're a producer you have to accept who he is i mean he was offered beverly hills cop he was offered return of the jedi he was offered total recall he worked actually fairly extensively on total recall and was kind of upset which in in what it turned into because he's an uncompromising intellectually rigorous man and he's an artist in my opinion but so he starts with art films he graduates into schlock um but always there's an underpinning of intellectual uh playfulness and uh groundbreaking in, in other words his ability to push boundaries that most people probably don't even imagine are there. That, that's the problem, is when he makes those kind of films, it's difficult for some people to accept or to, you know, come out with an easy confusion, an easy sense of resolution. The, um, the films that he probably most liked for would be uh, the, Stephen King's the Dead, the Dead Zone with Christopher Walken um, and The Fly, uh, with Jeff, which was a remake of a Vincent Price movie, The Fly with Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis, which is amazingly good in every way it's a it's a horror movie it's a love story and it just works perfectly it is probably my favorite Cronenberg movie just because it's so entertaining and some of his early schlock movies are very entertaining as well in a in a sillier way almost but they're horror movies uh, the first two movies he made stereo and crimes of the future are very Bergman-esque in a way anyway back to crimes of the future um, Viggo Mortensen is uh, the horror aspect is that Lisa Sadu and Viggo Mortensen are partners lovers and and, and uh, performance artists and so their uh, their art is surgery on Viggo Mortensen's character removing his organ because he has excess organ now is this a political film uh, because it it kind of touches on and kind of the under the undercurrent the subconscious I think it is more subconscious than anything else is pollution and 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 uh, the way it affects our bodies and the mutations of our bodies the evolution of our bodies whether indeed this is a, a step forward for humans so uh, don't want to go too heavily into the plot and uh, partially because it's so crammed the plot is very crammed and if anything if there was any negative to me the biggest negative would be that it, it has too many ideas too much going on for it e to be easily absorbed and it would benefit from having a lot more time even being turned into a series but Clearly, these are challenging artistic uh, works. And so, you know, $30 million is not a lot of money. That's all. 
poor guy could get. He's a he's a spry 70, 79. Uh, he shows every every uh, indication that he's going to be around for a long time. He looks very healthy. He uh, is seems extremely sharp and uh, completely satisfied and happy with his ability to continue creating for many years in 79. It should be noted that uh, David Cronenberg's actors love him. Uh, he's made a... Many controversial films, clearly these were uh, pa works of passion for everyone involved. Um, they, uh, even the more controversial ones, the more uh, disturbing ones, like Crash. Uh, Crash generated a lot of controversy um, because of the, uh, well, the basic summary of the plot is it's uh, about a group of people who are sexually... Uh, excited by car crashes, which of course includes accidents and uh, various physical uh, <laughs> death and destruction. Um, you know, it's it's one of those movies where I don't do this at home. Uh, everybody in the, you can see how much they're all just sitting and listening to David at, at Khan and uh, which I believe it it won there um, and uh, Holly Hunter and James Spader and so on the um, I saw an interview with Ray Fiennes and, and Spider and how completely happy and excited he was with the way that m movie turned out I mean Viggo Mortensen has been doing uh he did history of violence and then he did eastern promises and a dangerous method so now he is doing times of the future if you get david cronenberg you are happy he exists because there is no other david cronenberg uh, to get back to the crimes of the future i mean it would be interesting i mean for instance if Hollywood would give him, but that's the truth about anybody who does individual, individualistic work. Hollywood will take them and want to make them conform. They know they're talented, but then they say, ah, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. And, and clearly that, that only goes so far when you're trying to uh, create art. You know, you can't compromise past a certain point. I mean, you know, you'll make little compromises. Sure. Uh, you'll give, you know, the, the process of filmmaking is, is, you know, for instance, the ratings board, you know, you'll film a bunch of stuff that's really terrific, you know, terrible and gross and very, very um, uh, un-PC or whatever. And then, you know, oh, you'll cut that out and you got what you wanted um, so so uh, since Cronenberg is at 79 it, and he hasn't done a film in 8 years how many more are we going to get so if you it's on Hulu if you haven't seen it you might need to see it more than once and it's uh, it's not going to be easy to digest now interestingly part of the plot is that uh, people are some some people have evolved into eating plastic so and they are able to digest it apparently with some gooey inside substances he's known for body horror which he did not coin that phrase i mean he might have coined baron of blood at one point so if you don't know who david cronenberg is look him up uh he had different stages and periods where he was trying out different approaches. You know, the, the, actually the Viggo Mortensen years were, were one of those periods where he did uh, History of Violence, Eastern Promises, and Dangerous Methods, all, all different from a lot of his work, more conventional on some level, though still imbued heavily with the themes that are important to him. I, I will say Crimes of the Future is not an easy watch if you're not already a fan. So I would probably say if you don't even know who he is, you know, go with The Fly. Go with Dead Zone. Easy. Very fun movies. No problem at all. Scanners. 
Why not? Everybody likes to see a head blow up. His earlier stuff is actually tremendously fun. Shivers. Then he de- he does he goes off and does a, a, an adaptation of Naked Lunch. Me and Burroughs. That's extremely bizarre. Which is only right since the novel is pretty much unfilmable. If there's anyone you could compare him to, it's David Lynch because he's 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 in that zone. He's in the outside. He's in the out there zone where. Nobody else exists. Nobody else can flourish or exist. Only David Cronenberg and David Lynch can exist in this bizarre, otherworldly place. Um, I recommend it, but I don't necessarily expect you to like it. Crimes of the Future. It's on Hulu. Thank you for visiting Raven Woods. If you've enjoyed our explorations, don't forget to subscribe and like and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Stay curious, stay daring, and keep wandering those winding paths of curiosity. We will see you in the shadows.